Greetings everyone, and welcome to another WIS Technology tutorial. Earlier today I received a question regarding is it possible to send a PDF via email using Google Sheets? Now I thought about it for a minute and I decided that this would be a good topic to make a tutorial on. Um, essentially we're going to be using four add-ons all together uh, to create this effect. So what you're looking at here is a Google Drive folder of PDF flyers to, well in this case they're all the same properties, uh, just a fictional document, all named. And step one is to simply open a blank Google Sheet. Here you go. Now mine is filled in because I'm going to walk you through the steps that I took to do this. So the first thing you want to do on your blank sheet is go to your add-ons and install the file cabinet by awesome table. What this is going to do is list every single document you have in that Google Drive folder in your spreadsheet and as a bonus give you the URL to that document which we'll be needing later on in this tutorial. So if you start listing your documents, you're going to choose your folder and then list the items. I've already done this, but I'm going to update my list because I've actually added, if you didn't notice, I've added a fourth file. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how you can maintain this list very easily simply by running the update. So I'm going to go ahead and update. It's going to scan that folder, pick up any new files, and it'll list them. So here we are, we have property four. And once you've updated this, you can actually close out, close out that and you don't need the file cabinet add-on anymore. So the next thing I wanted to do was create a sorted list of all of the properties. In other words, if I wanted to put them into alphabetical order, um, or just sort them in a way that made sense, especially if I had a lot of these. So the next thing I did was create a second tab called Properties. And all I did was I simply gave uh, in row one the header of Properties. And then in row two, I did a query sort of the file listings um, in sheet one, right? So this is A3 all the way down to A. So as this is automatically populated with new properties, um, it will automatically be added to this list right here. And this is important um, later on in the tutorial as well. So we have our file listings and we have a query that lists our properties in alphabetical order. Now the next thing I had to do was create a form with a response sheet that was also linked to this specific sheet. So I went in and I made a form uh, asking three questions. First name, or four questions actually. First name, last name, uh, property, and the email address. Um, so the important question here, in addition to getting the email question right, is the property question. Because here we're using another add-on. We're going to use the form ranger add-on here. What the Form Ranger add-on does is it pulls the responses from a spreadsheet. So remember how we had created that spreadsheet uh, which is linked to this form? I'm simply going to run the Form Ranger script, or the add-on, I'm sorry, and you'll see how I have it set up. So you'll see that it is populating this response, these responses uh, from a value list. And this value list is actually located in that spreadsheet. So in other words, this information is an exact replica of this information. So that way I don't have to do any manual maintenance of the form, it will be updated as new properties are listed. And each time the form is submitted, it'll again repopulate it and do any updates. I could also 
set it to repopulate every hour if I felt that there was a need for this to actually be repopulated every hour. But I'm not going to set it that way for this purpose. And then, so that's, that's it. Form Ranger is taken care of. And then when we hover over to our, our spreadsheet uh, for the responses, uh, they're going to be landing in, of course, the typical form responses one sheet. So all of this is happening in the same, the same sheet. So what I did to the form responses is you'll notice that after the email question, which was the last question in my form, I added a, another column called flyer URL um, because I wanted to be able to insert in the body of my email the URL to the PDF in my Google Drive. So what this is, is an array formula VLOOKUP, okay? So all this is doing is, in this case, it's looking at the contents of D2, which is over here. In other words, the name of the property. And it's going to cross-reference that property, which is over here. And let me just reveal column B here, because this is important. It's going to cross-reference that property, and let's look at it. So it's we're looking at here property 1, and then it's going to take the third index, in other words, the third column over. And this false indicates that it's only going to look for uh, exact matches. So think of it kind of like a grid system. So it's going to reference sheet 1. This is it's found it right here. Here's property one. This is the index one. What it's going to bring back is we said number three, index three, which is the URL column right here. So column one, column two, column three. It found property one. It's going to bring back the URL of that flyer. Now, in order for this to work with form mule, which is the add-on that actually delivers the email to whoever filled out that form, um, or whatever email address is actually in the email column. Um, you have to use the, the copy down add-on. Um, I, I attempted to leave just the array formula in this column, thinking that it would work all the way down, but unfortunately it does not. So you will have to use the copy down add-on. And again, that is located um, in the add-on store. It's just called copy down. And the way that one works is literally, it's just an on off switch. Um, you can see, so I've turned it on. My formula is located in row two, which is right there. And I'm not pasting it as values. So I just left all of that blank and I just saved the settings and I was done with the copy down add-on. So now let's move into the actual form mule add-on, which is like I said, that's what's generating the email. So I go into my add-ons again, and I'm using the form mule email merge utility. And let's just go ahead and um, start with the looking at the setup. So the first thing I had to decide was where my data was coming from. So um, it is coming from form responses one. So that's great. And then I set it to email, right, on form submit, right? So it's going to trigger that email the minute the submit button is hit. The next step was to uh, create how many templates, how many different templates. Um, Formula gives the options to send a variety of templates depending on the responses in the form. In this case, there only needs to be one template. So uh, I'm sending this one template for all rows of data in my spreadsheet. So I can save those settings. Um, and then I get to actually edit the email template. Now, here is where I can enter the merge tags um, to build the emails. So this, of course, was the email field in the form. So 
I'm sending it to that person. Uh, I, I'm giving it a subject. So here we are, more information about. And in the case of that first one, this would say property one, right? So these, these uh, merge tags will be replaced by actual data from the spreadsheet. And then of course I can fill out the body of my email. Um, so again, dear Richard Anderson, thank you for your interest in property one. See the flyer link below for more information. Now notice here, it says this is HTML friendly. So because of that, I'm able to use this uh, anchor tag, ahref equal sign colon, and then I put in the flyer URL, which is that column in my spreadsheet, and I close the tag, and then I'm actually hyperlinking um, the name of the property as a hyperlink. And I close out my email, and I can preview and send. So I have no more emails uh, remaining. There is a quota. I know it's much smaller for non Google Apps for Education accounts or Google Apps for Work accounts, but you, you do get a fair share of, of emails in your quota. So now let's see it in action. So I'm actually going to fill out the form. Okay. And my name is going to be Richard Anderson, as it is in real life. And now I'm actually interested. Now notice how my property four is not here yet. So I'm gonna actually first reload this. Oops, I'm sorry. Just to make sure we got all the properties. All right. I'm gonna actually choose property four because that was the one I just most recently added. And I'm gonna use one of my sample student accounts that I have in my training domain. All right, and I did use some data validation when I was constructing the form to make sure that an email address was entered into this form. So if all goes well and I hit submit, before I even can get back to the spreadsheet, I should have an email in my inbox. So I'm gonna hit submit, I'm gonna waltz on over to the spreadsheet. The data was added, the URL was added, and the email was sent. So now let's go ahead and look at that email account. Oh, here it is. So this is that student account that I had created. And this is what I'm getting in my email. Dear Richard Anderson, thank you for your interest in property four. See the flyer link below for more information. Of course, I can download it here and then see the details regarding that property. So there you have it. So this is a, a way of distributing PDFs uh, in your Google Drive folder via a form submission from your Google Sheet, okay? So I hope this was clear and just remember that the four add-ons you were using were the awesome table. Uh, let's just look at them here. So we were using the file cabinet by awesome table. We used the form mule email merge utility. We used the copy down add-on and then over on the form side, we ended up using the form ranger add-on to populate the property question. Hope this was clear and thanks for watching.